Uh, all right, guys. So I was just gonna basically uh, redo the RPCS3 tutorial video real fast. I'm not gonna be fixing any of the, or no, I am gonna be fixing all the mistakes I personally made. Which, um, since it took so long, I don't actually think I made that many mistakes because it. But it was also like a 50 minute video, so that's why I want to redo it, make it more like a four, just a shorter video in general. Um. Any things that you guys left in the comments, and by the way, thanks, I have like 75 likes in that video and 4,200 views on it, um, and it just keeps going up by the day, which is crazy, but, um, but yeah, uh, anything in the comments, I tried to reply as many as I possibly could, some errors I don't personally know, so if I, um, if you still need help with them, then, uh, then uh, let me know again in the same comment, and I'll, I'll try to do some research on them, because it, it shouldn't be too hard to get all that working, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to be real quickly. This one's going to be real fast. So, actually, I already have um, a copy of a working RPCS3 on my computer right now. Um, as you see right here, PS3 emulator, it's fully working, but I'm just going to re-download it real fast just to show you. So go to your web browser, um, I use Firefox, go to, search up RPCS3, that's the name of the emulator, go into the first web page, it should be RPCS3.net, press the download button in the top button, um, that's not normal, okay, uh, Okay, well that, that fixed it. Then we press download for Windows. If you're on Linux, press download for Linux. Basically, it, it's very simple. It, 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 you just have to know what operating system you're on. Press uh, download, then um, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to name it RPCS3 Tutorial. And then drag this into there. And then when you go into here, when you go into the folder you drag it into, Right click on it, press 7 zip, and extract here. If you have WinRAR, then you have to press WinRAR. I'm assuming you already know how to extract things. It's pretty simple. Um, then, once this is uh, extracted and all here, it's quite simple. Um, you might want to open it up and then press. I read the quick start guide. If you want to press do not show again, you can press do not show again. I've already read most of this. I don't know if I read the quick start guide, to be honest. Then you're in the uh, RPCS3 emulator, but you still can't use it yet because you have to download the PS3 PUP. The PS3 PUP is basically just the system software that you're going to need. Um, a potential security risk. This is actually what it shows me before, but this is from the PlayStation website, so don't worry about it. It's just false. It's, um, it's false positives. Because, as you see, PlayStation.com is literally owned by Sony. I highly doubt they're giving out viruses now. Um, then you go uh, get to the folder where it is. Basically, I press the folder icon on my own on Firefox, so that just real quickly brings up uh, this. And then I bring up the RPCS3 window, and then drag the PlayStation 3 uh, update.pup. And then this is relatively quick. Uh, compiling PPU modules, this has to do it for literally everything, including games and stuff. So I can't really uh, speed this up anymore, so I'm just going to have to either edit this out or something. Alright, I'm at 90% now, so I'll just, uh, it's pretty much done. Um, so this, this took me like a minute, maybe. It, it's not too long, it's just, you don't want to do it probably. So, um... So then you get your PlayStation 3 ROMs. Again, like I said in my other video, I can't tell you where to get the PlayStation 3 ROMs. It's just not allowed. Um, in some of the comments, I think I did tell you where to get them, which honestly, I don't. I, I shouldn't have done that, to be honest, but it's already there, so whatever. Um, so if you want to go look, that's fine, but just, just use Reddit or something, and it's honestly not too hard to get them. It took me, like, two minutes to find a good website to get them from. Um, just watch out for fake websites. Not fake websites, but websites that are copying more official websites. So make sure you have, like, the right uh, extension on, or, like, the right ending to the uh, thing, like, .com, .net, or whatever. Just make sure you have the right everything. Make sure it's not spelled with, like, a lowercase l instead of an i, or, you know, just stuff like that, an r and an m instead of a, or an r and an n instead of an m. Um, anyway, so now I'm gonna go to my ROM that I have installed. I just, I think I have a folder in here with my name on it. Um, 
Okay, so then I'm just gonna go to emulation, uh, PS3. Now this is my uh, my actual PlayStation 3 emulation folder here. Um, I'm gonna be deleting this right after the video, but this is where I have my ROM on here. I also have Black Ops 3, but I'm just showing Minecraft because it's easier. Um, and I should just this should work, right? So yeah, okay, that works. And if I didn't show you correctly where did it actually go, once you have the folder, you go into it, and then you go into the PS3 underscore game, and that is where you want to select, uh, that is the folder you want to select, the PS3 underscore game folder. Make sure when you're in the PS3 underscore game folder, make sure you don't have one of these clicked on, because that will make it uh, choose the other folder. Make sure you have the PlayStation 3 game folder selected. You don't actually have to go into it, you just have to click on it. And you see folder, it says PS3 underscore game. Select folder, that will add. Um, this is compiling PPU modules right now, which like I said, everything does that. So uh, I'm just going to real quickly add Black Ops 3 as well. So Black Ops 3, I don't want to look into it. So um, Black Ops 3 though doesn't work uh, very well. Um, uh, so yes, it doesn't work very well if I'm going to be 100% honest about this, but there's nothing I can really do about it. It's up to the people who made the emulator, and I don't imagine it's very easy to emulate something like this. Um, right now I don't actually have my PlayStation or my Xbox controller plugged in, so I'm not actually going to be playing it, proving it to you that it works. I hope that you could just uh, take my word for it, since I already have another video up about it. Sorry about my voice also, I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Um, so the compiling of the PPU modules are almost done already. Right after this, I'm going to real quickly show you where to get updates from, and then that should be it. So Minecraft will load into in just a second. I do have my Xbox controller plugged in. I want I could show you for like half a second, but only real quick. Just to, I'm not even gonna load into a world. SPU cache. This shouldn't take as long. More things I have to edit out than I thought I would. Hey man, it still isn't bad. Um. All right. To be honest, uh, this is taking a while, so I'm gonna be showing you. Um, where to go to get the PlayStation 3 to score it. Go into your web browser and search up PS3, or sorry, uh, RPCS3, just the name of the emulator, and then Discord. Once you search that up, I misspelled Discord, not a big problem. Uh, Discord me should have it. And I just press join server, and I'm sure you know how to use Discord. And then in Discord itself, Um, just want to make sure, don't need to be giving a lot of uh, away personal things or other people's names on here. Um, okay, so our PCS3 right here. Okay, um, so we bring this down now, and then go to bot spam, and it says, this is the way you get updates, uh, to your PlayStation 3 games. I can't show you where to get updates because PlayStation gives them out for free. And that means that they're pretty much open, so anybody can give them out for free. Okay, so how you get the updates is you type in uh, on the off-topic bot spam. You press exclamation mark, PSN check, updates, um, updates, and then uh, the name of the game. Not the name, but the serial. It's really easy to get this. It's even more complicated, but all you have to do is press or go into here, right click this, uh, right click your game. Each game is specific, just so you know. You can't, you can't right click any game. You have to right click the specific game. As you see, team right here, but you can't copy it from there. Or you can if you want, but it's easier to right click it, press copy info, and press copy serial. Then you press control V here, or right click and paste and then enter into it and these are all the updates for it so i'm not going to download that update because it's it's 1.14 gigabytes um so if this still isn't done i'm honestly not sure this could be because i'm loading it up for the first time this could also be because i am um i already have a working version of rpc story i'm going to be on the last real quick i'm just going to real quickly exit out of here delete the RPCS3 tutorial I just made and prove to you that this should work completely fine. If I go into here 
and this is my already existing emulation folder. Honestly, it's probably because I already have a copy of the emulator on my computer. But if I real quickly load it up, it might need an update. It it it, it, it updates are really fast. It automatically updates itself. So as you see, very fast. Um, and this is here. We just load into this if we if we want scanning PPU modules. As you see, it loads them much faster. Yeah, so the SPU cache, the only reason why it didn't work for me right there is because I had two copies of RPCS3 on my uh, computer, and I'm guessing something just got messed up in the, during that time. Anyways, you can see it's working perfectly fine. I don't, uh, if you're if it's asking you to connect, just press continue playing offline. Um, and there you go. Uh, I'm not going to get into anything, but it's just clearly working. Um, this video is already longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to end it right here. Uh, probably going to be cutting out like a minute or something, but yeah, that's that's it. It's very simple. This went from a 50-minute video to a 12-minute video. Bye, guys. Like and subscribe.